size you want. You click the camera again, you don't have to but I always do. Click the camera and then click subtract which looks like the blue square going into the darker blue, uh, lighter blue square. Click that. Now you've got your room. You will notice if you move that out of the way it's still there and if you click on all these screens it now looks like a grey green type square. Simple. Right click, select all surfaces, align selected, wall, align selected, floor and ceiling. Now, that doesn't look really like a room, does it? You need a floor. Just click on the floor, left click go to textures we're going for floors I'm going for that texture <coughs> I'm going to change the ceiling texture left click on the ceiling and click that now it's looking more like a room select 
select all surfaces, align wall, align floor and ceiling. Now, you're not done yet, you need to add light. So you right click where you want the light. I normally stick mine just away from the walls so it doesn't show up the white light on the wall. It shows it all over the place. Just click on the light and move it like you would move yourself. Do this to as many walls as you want. It's easy. <coughs> now you've done that, I've only got it on three walls because later on in the in a tutorial I'm going to make a wall with a door in it. <coughs> you press build right at the top, build all, and on your editor it should go the room should go to the lightness of the lights within it. Mine doesn't because I've done something to stop it. Now you think you have finished, don't you? You haven't finished. You are now going to press Act Class Browser, which looks like a chess piece. Actor Navigation Point. And it's not Spawn Point, it's Player Start. Click that, minimise that, and I add at least five into a room. So now your room should look something like this. Build, build all, and now you are done. You can play this map by clicking the little, I don't know what it's meant to be, it looks like a joystick type thing press that, you will play it, and if you like it, you press file, save as. At the moment you don't have to save it as DM, TDM, CTF. I normally save it as DMs unless I'm doing a capture the flag. I should have my second tutorial up in the next two days or even a day or so. You can download this map via the link on the um, description thing or you can wait until the next tutorial comes out to see what it looks like. Thanks for watching.